happy little devils welcome back to my channel Jan and friends and a big happy holidays to each and every single one of you whoa what an incredible year we've had i started january of this year can you believe it my very first paranormal experience and then we went on so many other spooky trips along the way and it just had so much fun and i would not do this without you watching me be a fool <laughs> Well, it's about to become a full circle because in January, I'm actually going back to the Jefferson Hotel, which again was my very first paranormal experience and still one of like my top three scary experiences. If you haven't seen it or you don't know what I'm talking about, click somewhere up here because that video, solid. For my first one, that was solid. Crazy proof too. So it's the end of the year and I just want to say thank you so much for watching and being here for me. I have so many incredible trips planned for 2023, baby. Like I said, we're going to Jefferson, and then, you know, maybe we might be going to the Stanley Hotel, AKA where The Shining is, AKA where Stephen King was inspired uh, by and wrote The Shining. And then who knows, maybe we're going to The Conjuring House for my very special birthday. I don't know, these are all rumors that could or could not be true. Speaking of conjuring, I saw one of the most amazing ads on Instagram and it was wine. But not just any kind of wine, it was horror themed wine, specifically Warner Brothers. And the one that was advertised me was Miss Annabelle. She's always advertised me, I have her everywhere. Here, there, new, old, she is with me. <laughs> so I was looking through this and I thought this would be the perfect Christmas gift for moi. So I told my lovely sister if she could purchase it for me and I really didn't think she would because she thinks it's silly but I think it's just so stinking cute and somebody must have gotten it for Christmas or we would not be here making this video. This wine is from Mano's Wine. I don't know if it's Mano's or Mano's but M-A-N-O-S wine.com again they have a Warner Brothers special where they have different types of wines that it's etched hand etched into the movie poster the character is so on they have it Pennywise they have the exorcism the conjuring and then I believe there's one more but I can't remember but I thought it was just super cool and a great gift to give whether it's for Christmas birthday so on if you're in here I'm sure you're a fan of horror films as well so go check that out this is not sponsored or ad or anything I just think it's freaking incredible and we'll see how incredible it tastes because that's what we're doing today I'm gonna show you guys how beautiful this bottle is and I'm gonna keep it on display but as a wine connoisseur, I have to taste it. I have to see what it tastes like. It better be freaking delicious. But I'll I'll read you guys all the boring details and stuff about the wine and we'll get to tasting. And today who's gonna be tasting with me is the lovely gifter herself, Mirmana Jacqueline. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Why were you against buying this for me? Um, because I just didn't think it was an ideal Christmas gift. <laughs> it's the perfect Christmas gift! It wasn't like in my head useful. So. Manos? And honestly, for a second there, I didn't even know if it was gonna come since they hand etch it. <laughs> oh, there it goes. Oh my god, this is heavy. I'm so weak. Ugh. Yeah, I just didn't know if it was going to come in time. But here it is. How would you say it? Manos or Minos? 
Manos. 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 Or her. Before the conjuring, there was Annabelle. Handcrafted Reserve, California Cabernet Sauvignon. Sauvignon. Manos wine is a labor of love from start to finish. Our esteemed winemakers carefully select the best grapes in California. So it's from California. Yeah, but what vineyard? What vineyard? I don't know. <laughs> it doesn't say. The wine is aged and finished to perfection where it's sent to our skilled artisans who deep etch and paint every bottle by hand. Each bottle is a unique work of art that yourself or someone you love will be able to cherish forever. She better. 13.5%, but does that mean it's bottled? It's bottled in Kansas City. Hmm. Contains sulfites. Doesn't know what that means. 21 and up. So yeah, only if you're 21 and up. But this is beautiful. Okay. Does Annabelle? Okay, let's let's <laughs> pop her open. So if you didn't know, <laughs> what <laughs> the the better quality wines is like they have it on the label what vineyard it's from, or it's like um, more specific. That's the only reason I asked. We watch, sometimes we try to be like wine snobs, you know. Yeah. But we don't really know anything. So every time we go to the store to get wine, we choose a different bottle, and we try to be smart and use our knowledge that we've gathered from going to wineries, <laughs> YouTube, and TikTok, and just whatever to choose the wine. But honestly, has your palate developed? Like I just, it tastes mm -hmm. good or it don't taste good. That's yeah. kind of where I am still. But is is a cab still your fave or no? No, a cab is my favorite for red. I think Pinot Noir is the ones that I've had the most luck with. But cabs are still like really good to me as well. Um, I don't know. Just start flickering. <laughs> My sister is a chicken. She supports me, but she don't like what I do. I support her from afar. She's good. Okay. Full bodied, dry red with a smooth finish. <laughs> That's it. No reviews. <laughs> no nothing. I thought it would like stay. Yeah, when I tried looking at reviews, I didn't see any. So I was like, well, here we go. I swear it was like, it tastes like raspberries. Or something like that. I'm not raspberries. The Exorcist. Oh, they must be all the same. Like the same wine, just. Yeah, because it, it says all the same thing for them. Oh. Well, let's see if we can put all of our knowledge to the test. Okay. A glass for you. Thank you. A glass for moi. ASMR. <laughs> ASMR. Okay. It smells strong. <laughs> <laughs> You need notes of tobacco. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I have no idea. It does smell fruity. It smells red. It smells fruity to you? Yeah. <laughs> it's, it smells like it's been aged. <laughs> <laughs> I told you we don't know shit. Okay. First size. Mm. That's a good. It's pretty.
pretty yummy. Yeah, I could drink this. Well, it is pretty yummy. I haven't had like it's very smooth and it's not too drying, isn't it? If your your tongue starts salv sal salivating. salivating, what does that mean? It means something. It means something. I remember watching it though. Yeah, mine's salivating. <laughs> hey Siri. What does it mean when your mouth starts salivating when drinking wine? Tannic acid and red wine affects on saliva production. Mm -hmm. I knew that. I said acidity. I'm... Have you ever seen Annabelle? The movie? Mm -hmm. Yes. I've seen Conjuring 1. I went to the movies. I was with a boy, so I was acting like I wasn't scared, but I was scared. I'm so scared. <laughs> that movie was so no, scary. I was trying to be so strong because I didn't want to look like a little <laughs> beep. And then I saw Annabelle in theaters. You saw both in theaters? Yeah. And Annabelle traumatized me. Because of the, de the devil? Yeah, there's like a scene where the devil's like chasing the main character. Ooh, it's so and scary. And that did it for me. And I don't think I've ever seen part two. I've never seen The Nun. The Nun sucked. Oh wait, no, I did see The Nun. That's the Mexican one? That's no, the Mexican one. that's La Llorona. Oh, I saw that one. That one sucked, we saw that together. Yeah. But I haven't seen any of the other ones. That's did you like, see the recent Annabelle? 2019? Mm-hmm, let me see. Annabelle Comes Home. This is the yeah. one, no, this is the one with Ed and Lorraine's daughter, Judy. Mm -hmm. So it says. Have you seen it? No. Is she a fake ass fan. Or maybe I have seen it and it just wasn't scary. Or maybe I haven't seen it. Maybe I haven't seen it because I saw the nun and I was pretty upset about that because it wasn't scary at all. So I was like, I'm getting tired of this. Let me not. But refresh my memory. Just Annabelle has an appearance in The Conjuring. Yeah. So she's at the, the very beginning, right? She's the opening scene. When we came home. She was sitting in the hallway, but we had left her in the spare room. Mm -hmm. and, the and then like, she's not related to the rest of the story. No, but mm -hmm. I guess I was just like, they're, the movies are kind of out of order. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, the animal doesn't have anything to do with the conjuring. But when I saw the conjuring, I saw it like the worst way possible. I was a teenager and I don't know if I was old enough to go see it or like I just didn't have friends I wanted to go see. It. I don't know. It wasn't probably not because I was 18. When yeah. I saw it. So I was 15. So I was 15. So it wasn't like, I don't know. It wasn't an option. And I remember it was Halloween. I was bored at home. I put on my beats that oh, I no. and no, no, no. I started watching this bootleg <laughs> <laughs> on one of those illegal websites. Don't come for me. And I was like, it's not gonna be scary. Like everyone says, the new movies are always scary, and they're not scary. No, that shit had me shook. I was scared. I was not expecting all of that, especially the exorcism part. I was scared. That movie scared me. Yeah. It was good though. Like for it to like yeah. really scare me, it was a it was a good movie though. It still is a good movie. I've seen it multiple times now. But that and Annabelle was scary too. Like the whole like when she goes downstairs to the laundry, she's being oh, scared girl, just talking know. about it. Ah. <laughs> it's like the elevator door opens. Oh no, she, that part is the part because uh, it's like. Obviously wants her to go there, but she has nowhere else to go and that thing starts chasing her. I uh, that was no. scary. So this is good. I don't think the wine though is like a quality of fifty dollars. I think no, it's I the don't bottle. think so either. <laughs> but it's good. good. Like I wanna know what this is without Annabelle. Elago. <laughs> yeah, whatever it is. <laughs> the juice one. Do you have a scary story? Scary story? Scary story? 
personal scary story? Yeah, just the time you've been scared. Like, okay. Okay, childhood trauma. <laughs> childhood trauma. I was literally going to bring that up. So, I... I don't know if it was the way my cousins raised us. <laughs> our cousins <laughs> raised us, not our parents. <laughs> but there was always scary movies on, and I hated it. So I would say the first movie I remember being terrified of was um, Scream. We were at my cousin Priscilla's house, and we should not have been watching it. I was probably like... Was I there? I don't know, but we were little. Like, I went to bed, because I... <laughs> want to get up to use the bathroom in the middle of the night because of how scared I was and then I remember like my cousins forcing us not forcing us but pretty much watching uh what is those saw yeah and I feel like those are like we nowadays would... those are more like gory than like scary yeah but like when you're young that's just terrifying and then <laughs> as games we would reenact Saw. <laughs> we had a video camera and our cousin would dress up as Jigsaw and we would just pretend we were in Saw yeah. and we had to like cut our arms off and stuff to get out of the chains. We yeah. had a, we had a, a fun childhood. Childhood. Oh, it's right there. Okay, I've never seen any of the Exorcist movies. I haven't seen Emily Rose. I don't think I've ever seen like Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Those are good. I don't think I've ever seen any of like the Michael Myers. I think I've seen part of like, what's the other one? Freddy? I think I've seen Nightmare part of the street. We yeah. saw that at our cousin's house. <laughs> <laughs> um, a lot of the classic ones I haven't seen and it's just by choice. So she's seen the scariest one, oh, the scariest ones in my opinion, which is The Conjuring and Annabelle yeah. and all of those, but you haven't seen the, the classics. Mm -mm. The classics nowadays, you could probably I've watch. never seen The Shining. I've seen parts of it. you never seen The Shining? Not in like full completion. Love that one. I'm trying to think what else. See, can you tell that we're very different? <laughs> 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 Little cherries. <laughs> <laughs> so we're just trauma dumping on the audience. And the only reason I say trauma is because like I will, will not sit down and watch a scary movie. The last scary movie we watched was La Llorona whenever it came out, which was... Christian was 15. Yeah. And he's 18 now, so three years ago. Mm -hmm. That one sucked. That was... I'm mad that sucked because it's just like... It had potential. Yeah. Like it's such a classic. Like they did the wobble. And it turned out yeah. black, remember? I was just like... <laughs> just, I don't know. But a, a video idea that I would love to do. But when I get more subscribers, because it's a chasing ghost, basically, you can go to, like, Southern California, like, close to Mexico, and you go mm. by the body of waters, and you, you la llorona, supposedly, they're crying. Mm -mm. I saw BuzzFeed do it, and I was like, I want to go look for <clears throat> her. That's a... I think our culture... You know who I saw? That guy. Oh, I just blanked on everything. Yeah, <sighs> he's a very talented director. He's Mexican. Guillermo del Toro. Yes. Somebody was basically <laughs> asking him, interviewing him, like, how is he, how is he into such dark things and like blah blah blah, but yet he's so happy and like uh, joyful and whatever, like. They were basically saying like his life is kind of like two extremes and like his creativity and he, he simply replied and said, I'm Mexican. <laughs> <laughs> and I was just like, our, our culture has so much. We're very of, like, dark. Yeah. But then at the same time, it's like very happy and uplifting. I don't know, but it, I don't mess with our culture stuff. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> I clearly have dipped several toes into it. Yeah, that's her business. <laughs> Okay, so I said this earlier and I'll say it again. Once I reach 500 subscribers, I will do a giveaway. I will do a very me giveaway, which means if you've seen my two videos on coal collectibles, if you haven't, again, somewhere here, you should watch it because it is items from different cults, notorious killers, just all kinds of craziness. And I have boxes of it 
and I would love to give you my box. So this would cost, how much did I pay for it? I don't know, I pay quite a bit though. So I would give this to you for free. So I want to reach out 500 subscribers and then we'll do a giveaway on cult collectibles. So go ahead, tell your friends, your family, whoever you think might be interested in this, share on Instagram. I am at Jeanette De La Garza and yeah, comment down below what else you want to see from me next year, 2023. Do you want more cult collectibles, more ghost stuff? That's definitely coming, but it's taking some time. Should I go to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre house? Should I go to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station? Should I go to crime scenes? What do you want from me? I'm down for it all. <laughs>